AutoCAD is a design tool that allows us to collaborate with others and with other data. One tool that helps us with that is called the XREF Manager, or the Cross Reference Manager. This tool references or links data to our work file. This process loads other CAD files or images into our file so that we can display them without having to draw them. For example, a residential design needs a survey drawing to establish legally defined property boundaries. It also needs architectural designs for the homes that are going to be built there. Then we need the sewer and water main information. Well, it's good CAD practice to have each of these designs created and managed in their own CAD file. When it's time to create the drawings, you simply reference these drawings and annotate them as needed. It's just like linking up separate databases together. In this case, it happens to be lines, arcs, etc. When it's time to create the drawings, you simply reference all of your data or all of your other drawings into your one working file. And then you just dimension it, note it, mark it up as needed. You can also reference images like a PDF, a DWF, a JPEG, or a TIFF file. These files could have different aerial views of the property, or company logos for your title block, or on your cover sheet, or etc. So let's open up a file called Reference. All referenced files are in the Model tab, since they're part of your model information. So here we are in our Model tab. Here are our Paper Space tabs. So we have Model, Plan, and Notes. You can reference files into Paper Space, but that's only used for like, images and title blocks. Remember, paper space is where you annotate your drawing, and model space is where your design information goes to. So go to the model tab, like I am here. I'm going to close our properties window to give us a bit more screen room. Now type in XR. That's for the XREF manager. You can also type in XREF, X-R-E-F. Press Enter. This is the file references or the external references manager. It's a palette. So you can move it around your screen, hide it, collapse it, dock it, you know, whatever you want to do. The files listed here are what you're working with. This one here at the top that has this little image at it means that this is your working file. You see the name here, reference, and the name at the top of the screen is called reference. That's our working file. That's what we're in right now. Anything listed below it will be files that are referenced or xrefed into it. So let's reference another file. I'll show you how to do this. Right now we have the movie house in here, but let's reference in another file. To do that, you just come up to the top and you can attach another drawing. Click on this arrow right here. These are the options that you have. These are the types of files that you can attach or reference to your drawing. A DWG, an image, a DWF, a DGN, a PDF, or a point cloud. We're going to attach a DWG file. Referencing all of these file types is done in basically the exact same way. So once you learn how to do one, you can do all of them. So just pick here, attach DWG, and it brings up your folder. So browse to wherever your files are at. And let's reference the file road. This one right here, ROAD. Click Open. Now we have some options. We'll go over a lot of these a little bit later on. But essentially, you have the name of the file. And if this is the wrong one, you can hit Browse and go to it. You can change the scale of it right here or on the screen. So if it's too small and you need to scale it up, you just type in the new scale. Typically, though, you want to keep everything at one to one. So scaling an XREF is very rare. You can rotate it on the screen or here if it needs to be. And typically you don't want to do that. Typically you're not going to mess with these settings very much. The only two options you're going to really look at are the reference type and the path. A reference type of an attachment or an overlay are different. Typically you're going to want overlay. And we're going to talk about the differences between these two later on. But for this exercise, it doesn't really matter. And the same thing with a relative path, full path or no path. We'll talk a little bit about those later on too. I prefer using relative paths when possible. Now you can look at your units here. It'll tell you it's in feet and it's going to scale it by a factor of 12. That's because our current drawing is in inches. You need to make sure you set the units of your drawings 
because if you're using different types of units, then AutoCAD can automatically adjust your line work properly so that it will be drawn relative to reality. So if you have one drawing in feet, like we have this road in, one unit is one foot long. But in our working file here in the reference file, our units are inches. So one unit is one inch long. Well, there's a difference of 12. This is going to be 12 times too small. So AutoCAD says, hey, it's in feet, you're in inches, it needs to be 12 times bigger. So it's going to automatically scale it up for you, which is really nice. Now your insertion point, this is something you may or may not want to click on. This will determine where you're putting your file relative to your current file. So it will take its insertion point, which is always 000, and insert it by default to 000. That's typically what you're going to want to do. So I can just allow this to reference it right here as is, or I can check this box and then it will let me pick it on the screen. Well, I want it at 000, so I'm going to let it do that. So when everything is set, click OK, and there you go, it's in. Now it's on our list, and I can close this, and we can see right here, there's our movie house, and here's our road. Pretty simple, right? Well, it is. There are a few settings here and there that you may want to use to tweak, where you have some special cases, but for the majority of things, when you go to reference a file, you're going to leave the default as is. So that's it. That's how you can get other drawings into your drawings. And when I select it, I can't really do anything to it. I can delete it, I can move it, I can rotate it, I can copy it, but I can't edit these drawings. I can't edit the line work. But that's okay because I don't want to. The line work is already there. If I want to edit it, I need to go into that original source file and I can make the changes there. And when I make the changes to that original file, they will automatically be updated in my drawing here. So while the architect is working on the building design, the civil engineer can work on the road design, can reference each other's files, and everyone will always be up to date. This is really good, and this is something you want to take advantage of.